Friday, 23rd September 2022 was a day of sober reflection for the Akpabius family on the life and times of their late mom, grandmom, sister, aunt, Madam Margaret Efiong Akpabiu, as they committed her to Mother Earth in a grand style amidst the celebration of a life well spent. <laughs> Bible reading was taken by the deceased daughter, Miss Marilyn Udeme Akbabio, from the book of Solomon, chapter 3, verses 1 to 9c. The soul of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will ever touch them. In the eyes of the foolish, the things from up died, and their departure was thought to be an affliction. And they are going from us to be the destruction, but they are at peace. The funeral mass was conducted by the Holy Rosary Autonomous Catholic, Ibiakwe Tam 72 E2 Road, Uyo. <laughs> As we only present to you the sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Margaret Akbabi, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The parish priest, Reverend Father Augustine Idobo, in his homily, also charged Christians to live a life worthy of emulation like the late Margaret Akwabu had lived while on earth as a devoted Catholic who served God with all her heart. She was a devout Christian in world and in deed, serving God with all her heart and substance. A devout Christian, a strong Catholic, serving God with words and deeds. Equal to the God, I go to now the Christianness of what we do. The clergy called on Christians to allow their Christian life reflect in all their dealings by having a peaceful coexistence with others. As Christians, as humans living, can we allow others to live in peace? You don't give him by conquering the evil. May her soul rest in peace. May his soul rest in peace. Give you the weapon. Can you properly say, may he live in peace? Internment. Late Margaret Akwabu, who was finally laid to rest in her family compound, number three, Ikondem Street, Uyo, was a sociable woman, a teacher per excellence, a kind hearted, sociable, and amicable person who was always ready to help those in need. She died at the age of 77 after a minor accident in Uyo and survived by the children, brothers, sisters, cousins, nieces nephew-in-laws and a host of others to mourn her departure.
Kwado TV show had a one on one interview with the following personalities at the event. In time like this, my late mom will be remembered for her generosity, her kindness, her simplicity. She took everybody equal. She never lived a life of segregation. That's my mom. She was a caring woman. She had been a very resourceful person. Who many people have benefited. She had been a, a living example of a Christian mother. And she, she married to a non Catholic, but she made sure that all her children are in Catholic. That's a good example of a Christian mother, a Catholic woman, a faithful woman. She was loving, she was a Christian to the core, she was too kind to a fox. In fact, most of the times, even when somebody hugs her, she will her, oh no, she will give an excuse for the person's hugs. You know, she won't be so much. She put her patience. 